A movie where a guy stalks Jennifer Lopez. Hmm, that'd be a pretty decent idea. This was 2002. When you lose some of your life, you start to feel like you don't belong anywhere. I have to go. Please don't go. No judgments. No rules. Just us. Sorry that I'm in a new location. I'm trying to find a better place to put my camera so I can film in my regular location. But I'm going to be here today, so I hope you guys don't mind. But anyway, hey the YouTube, Lucas Stringer here. And today for you guys, I'm going to review The Boy Next Door. And you're probably asking me, why did you go see this movie, Lucas? You knew it was going to be terrible because first off, it's in January. And second, it stars Jennifer Lopez. You knew this was going to be bad. Well, I want to see a movie every single week. And it was going to be either this or Mordecai. And I thought I'd be more entertained with this one because it could be funny. It could be a fun time. But ugh, I think I regret it because this movie was just awful. It was just terrible. And I will go on about that after I talk about the plot. Well, this basically follows Jennifer Lopez. And she's a recently divorced woman. She's an English teacher. Well, that kind of ruins it right there. And also, Kristen Chenoweth is the vice principal. It'd be the worst school ever. But anyway... She's recently divorced, she lives with just her son, and she has a new neighbor who moves in, um, who's played by Ryan Guzman, and he's 19, and he starts to have a thing for Jennifer Lopez. He wants to have sex with her, so she gives in, she has sex with him, then he becomes obsessed with her. Let's see, what does this remind me of? Oh yeah, Fatal Attraction, just switch a couple things around. Yeah, it's basically Fatal Attraction, but unlike Fatal Attraction, this movie sucks. Ass. Ugh. Well, the acting was definitely the worst part about this movie. Jennifer Lopez, ugh. Jennifer Lopez was just awful. And it's what I expected from her. She, I had never seen a movie where Jennifer Lopez gave a good performance. And I don't hate Jennifer Lopez or anything. I've met Jennifer Lopez. She's a very nice woman, very sweet. But, ugh, she's not a good actress. Acting is not for her at all. Ryan Guzman, who plays Psycho Boy, ugh, he was... Probably one of the worst parts about this movie. He was so bad, could not play a good psychopath in any means whatsoever. Every single, like, psycho monologue he had throughout this movie, I was, like, laughing my ass off the entire time. Because it was just, ugh. You could have found someone better. At least find someone good to play this role. Maybe it would have had something going with it. But no, you had to pick a stupid pretty boy who could barely act to save his life. Ian Nelson, who plays, um... Jennifer Lopez's son, he was the funniest part about this movie. He was so stupid in this movie. He was so bad. He, he just, he made me laugh almost every single time he talked. He had this little prepubescent voice. He was very stupid, very geeky. He was so bad in this movie. He's probably the worst actor in this movie. Worse than Jennifer Lopez. Congratulations, kid. Don't do any more. Kind of suck. I don't want to be mean, but... Ugh, just... Ugh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, kid, but... Ugh. You were not good. And Kristen Chenoweth, who plays um, the vice principal of Jennifer Lopez's school and Jennifer Lopez's best friend, she was probably the best actor in this movie, not really saying anything. She was fine with what she had, but ugh, the rest of the acting was just terrible. And also, just because this has one of the most cliched scripts that I've seen in a very long time, this used every single cliche that you could find in the freaking book. Like, literally every single cliche. It was so bad. And they even used the jumping cat jump scare. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, oh, what What are you doing? This is just awful. You could have thought of any other original ideas. Just use every single stupid cliche throughout every single scene so there'd be nothing to be t um, terrified of or scared of or be on the edge of your seat because you know everything that's going to happen. Because it's been in so many other movies, like Obsessed that came out not that long ago. They were trash and play Misty for me. Which, luckily, with those films, they were original, so we didn't know what was going to happen. But then you kept repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, everything that you see. Even TV movies. It's not, this is barely even good for a TV movie. It's that bad. Ugh, sorry I'm going off about this. And even, like, with cinematography, what I always say is usually sometimes good with movies, the cinematography in this movie was awful. Well, the worst editing that I've seen in a movie... Like, for the past, like, year and a half, probably. It's awful. And, of course, it's directed from the director did The Mummy, Tomb of the Emperor, um, Alex Cross. So, what did you really expect? And also, of course, it's January. What did you expect? Overall, 
The Boy Next Door is just such an awful, awful movie. It's easily the worst movie that I've seen so far in 2015. It's definitely not going to be the worst movie that I've seen all year, fortunately. It's definitely going to make my top ten worst movies of the year by the end of the year. I guarantee you it'll be on that list. If it isn't, I will jump out my window. Okay, no, I wouldn't. But I guarantee you this is going to be my top ten worst of the year at the end of the year. I'm going to be giving The Boy Next Door an F. It was awful. Piece of crap movie. Don't go see it. If there's any other, like, go see American Sniper. Go see Selma. They're putting Whiplash back in the theaters. Go see Whiplash. Just ignore this piece of crap film. Oh, I love doing rants again. The best part about seeing bad movies is how much I get to rant about it to you guys. So it's somewhat of a good thing. That is my review of The Boy Next Door. And I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys later. Stay away from me! And stay away from my son! I can't do that, Claire. I live next door. Do you want to take a cookie for the road? I love your mother's cookies.